Yo, what is good, my anime people? What is good, yo? So, with Mortal Kombat coming out, I am trying to get a little bit better at it. I never played any of the beta and stuff, so very, very trash at this game. Even though the game seems a little bit more trash than I expected, so... That being said, I hope you don't expect any crazy uh, high quality fights. Because um, look, I'm pushing a button after hitting him, and I can't follow it up. Because this is this is what they wanted in their game. <laughs> so with all that being said, this week, uh, you know, we really have to look at what we are getting in this show. Not only does it seem like a uh, like a weird kind of overall. Um, I want to say it's mystery, it's kind of drama, it's a lot of different stuff being jumbled up uh, in the genre of this show, and I think because of it, I really am getting behind it, I mean, it, it shocked me to see how much, like, scum was in this show this week, like, just plain and simple. She just goes low for him. I love it. I love it. What a great, what a great assist. What a great way to have this game suck that much more. My God. And to think that we have our character trying to learn so much more about, um, you know, what his mom is going through, what some of his dreams are supposedly meaning. If they call in people, you should be able to hit them because they're in the way. Are you kidding me? Oh, yeah, they, they, they're invisible, and they, they can come out and do whatever they want, and then when they're done, they leave. Like, good good game, NetherRealm. You guys really know how to make trash. My God. That's why no one plays Injustice 2 anymore, by the way. We see the son pretty much trying to live for his mother in the sense of trying to help her out, trying to make sure that she understands she's not alone uh, after the loss of the father and stuff. But... With all these different people coming at her, it makes a lot of sense to why she feels the way she does. And I still don't even know how to do a breaker in this game, so that's also a thing. We don't necessarily know why she was pushing herself to the brink to do what she does this week, uh, speaking of his mom. But we do understand quite quickly that because of this it's you know hindering her overall progress uh as in her job and we saw an instance of this when we learned of um the envelope that she wanted him to bring in and then next thing you know the guy ended up taking it and you know we see it yet again in this week's episode so it's kind of clear to me that that's what is the true key thing to be looking at here is just what kind of information he has how is he trying to set her up and where um can we when when can our character fix this or can he even fix this anymore we know that he pushed the button to do his test so i have a feeling that the next week's episode might start where um where he was at at school like if he wants to reset he wants to you know redo anything the the furthest back he can go at this point is back to that test which um you know he did leave relatively early but he did take the call which probably was one of the more things that slowed him down just that much more from getting to his mother in time so i'm really interested to see if that's where this story is going to go uh in this instance anyway Oh my god and um if it is like what could possibly be the case for uh the overall necessary push to uh you know make his mother understand that the person she's dealing with is absolutely trash but i think she knows that because i think he's the one who's actually kind of you know trying to uh get her in a bad position overall Oh my god, and he does it at the per- I can't stand this game. I won't be playing this long. Um, but yeah, I don't understand where they're going to bring um, 
you know the the time power into play here to help the mom if it is possible because at this point we don't even know it feels like he's already waited too long or something you know so really really uh sad stuff to see someone going through this having even the thoughts of suicidal tendencies uh not to mention the fact that we're going to be seeing uh a lot of this there's 26 episodes so to think that this isn't going to be resolved very quickly kind of gives me the feeling that we're just barely breaking the surface of what's popping off so um i hope everything works out well in this show because i do like this character and i would hate to see him you know struggling just because of uh you know a couple of people that he if he would have found out earlier about him he could have handled them you know so we see him going into a hotel room after coming home and finding the guy who is bribing his mother there and pretty much his mother standing up for him 110% the whole time. Not even the fact that they were about to get busy on the couch. But also he tried to completely just stomp the guy and he gets beat up by his mom for trying to do so, you know, so... It's a very weird instance of, you know, what the heck is going on. But at the same time, it kind of makes sense because whatever he has on the mother, she can't allow to get out. She can't have people finding out about it clearly. And that's the f overall senses that I got from what I was watching. And if that is the case, we know for a fact that... Um, there's there's not much he can do with the power um if if everything's already set in motion he can't really change a whole lot that's happening so um i hope he does figure out something but at the end of the day it doesn't seem like that will be the case so here's to hoping he will and overall man I I couldn't stand these characters this week not only was his mom being pressured it seemed like he was being pressured to go against his mom by the recorder the um, interviewer who already has had used images that you know maybe the mother didn't even know about like the egging and stuff like that so she already can't be trusted and yet she's you know the first person that can get a hold of this kid to try and um you know push forward and help uh the overall situation so i don't know i'm really uh tempted to you know just guess what's going to happen but at the same time it's so in the air for me that i don't think i would get it right so i kind of like being in the dark and not even taking those guesses because now I just get to sit back, relax, and enjoy the show, including with this being the fourth episode out of 26. Um, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of different directions they can go with this, so I just want to see um, what they actually plan on doing with it overall, and if it does play out quite well. God, Sub-Zero. Um, and if it does, what? Like, you see how fast he's coming back? My God, guys. This game does not know when to stop being dumb. <laughs> like, good luck to anybody playing this game casually. It is absolutely not for casuals. This game is meant for you to play hours on end. This is a medium boss, by the way, and he's doing things that a hard boss would do. So, with all that being said, I honestly don't see myself playing this game much. So, i sorry if you wanted to see this, but... At least you get to see the little bit that I did have on here. So with that being said, have an amazing day, night, people. And I will talk to you for sure sooner than later. Um, overall, I hope you guys enjoy this show. The things happening amongst it is very, very messed up. Including with a schoolgirl being stalked by some random dude who, you know, clearly has something out for her. Um... We're going to see what happens. The show is getting really interesting, and I hope you guys enjoyed it. Let me know what you're feeling, and I will talk to you in the next one. So with that, 
I am the Anime G. Make sure you guys check all the details on my videos because I'll drop pictures from each week for you guys to check out. So I hope you guys enjoy that as well. And peace.